Welcome back to episode 4 of Life in the Mesa Reforge with me, your wonderful host, Sir Thomas Kratz. So, uh, um, I initially wanted to, you know, let you guys see me fight the Wither and all of the, you know, 12 Iron Golems, just let them wreck the Iron Golem, but uh, it didn't happen. My, I clicked the record button, it wasn't recording, and I don't have any more. You will see a Wither fight at some point to make up for it. Uh, but I just don't have the extra wither skulls at the present time. So the main reason why I went to do it is the lay beacon right there. Because I don't like this. Uh, I, I, I've been debating on whether to take it down or not. And I really wanted to take it down. Not only because I haven't found um, another mesa. And I need uh, you know um, clay to work with. And make it look all pretty in here. Because I want to do uh, kind of like an ice spike biome. But with... Uh, the naturally generating colors of clay um, yeah but uh, also you know I just I, I needed to be ow I needed a beacon so I went and I got myself a beacon um, I just don't like this I don't like the, the this this mountain it's just kind of in the way just like the other just like in the first season of life life in the Mesa it was just it didn't look right so you know if it doesn't look right you dig it out so I'm just sitting here uh, dig 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 in and um, yeah so I want to do the ice spike but with the walk well, I just call it the Mesa spike biome um, sort of like a Mesa Bryce but I don't uh, I don't I'm not fond of it there's not enough dynamic it's just kind of pillars of clay uh, so I was gonna do kind of like the ice spike biomes so that is the plan for this episode uh, I just, I've been looking for, like, tutorials, and I don't have a PC at the moment that's, uh, that can do, like, a uh, world edit and the schematic so I can input it and, uh, have the, um, uh, kind of, like, the schematic for it and to make it easier on myself, so it's gonna be a lot of freehand, and, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But it's going to be a fun process to do, and uh, I'm probably going to do it on a live stream tonight for the most part, and just take this out before the live stream. So I will get back to you guys once I get done with this mountain uh, and taking it down because I'm taking it this section, then I have to go back a little bit and take down that section. Yeah, it's a big mountain. It's a big mountain. But thankfully, we got this efficiency five haste one that just wrecks it as clay, just like the haste two with stone. It just it just demolishes this stuff. So I will get back to you guys right after this.
Okay, so we're back, and um, I've burnt through all of my picks. Do you see this? Just absolutely demolished. All my four, all my efficiency fives are just gone. But um, we've made an astounding amount of progress in the past. I don't know. Took me about an hour, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, just on and off throughout the day, but it's the mountain's almost gone. Um, it's darn near out of here and into chests. Uh, don't know how that works in reality, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> don't know how you put a mountain inside a couple of chests, but you know, um, we took it all down. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is the same thing that I plan to do on that area that I took down in season in the first part of Life in the Mesa, the original series. Um, get some red sand from somewhere else once I find another Mesa and uh, bury it down here. Uh, I'm, I plan on taking the rest of this out, um, but I do need to grind up some levels. And um, yeah, I, I need to move this out of the way too, but I just haven't been bothered with it. This is what I was trying to, I thought I needed to make a full uh, four tier beacon, but I didn't uh, efficient, uh, haste one and efficiency five does the job quite nice. I need to get that done and then we will be stuck once I get uh, some levels up and retune these picks uh, we will be starting the Mesa spikes. Um, what I'm thinking is that uh, what we're going to do is have them right around this pond in the center uh, you can kind of see what I'm talking about I need to terraform that back out I took out all the sand just because it was kind of like an eyesore over there um, but uh, right around this rim right here put the Mesa spikes um, and have this path weave through them this way kind of in a, a like up over this way around um, and then kind of have a branch off to this way to the dark oak forest and then off this way to I don't know what the heck we're gonna have over here but there'll be more mesa spikes uh, around this area right here um, I just need to kind of learn how to make uh, the ice spikes that I'm going to be copying but in uh, in the um, stained clay and hardened clay as well probably not hardened clay because it doesn't look as good in this texture pack it kind of looks a bit bland um, but for sure like the reds and the yellows are for sure um, up there on my list of what I'm gonna be using um, might throw in some yellows I can go gather a bunch of flowers for all that stuff but uh, now I need to well eat first and then I have to find um, I need to go fight mobs I'm probably gonna go to the nether for that uh, just pop through the nether the portal run around for a minute and uh, kick some butt for a few levels and at least get one of those pickaxes um, taken care of to put back over there and then I have a, a efficiency four to start the building process for these mesa spikes so I'm gonna go get some levels and I will catch you guys back here in one moment alrighty so about an hour later we got ourselves some levels so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get uh, this fortune pick or one of these fortune picks has to be the cheapest to, to uh, fix up I'm gonna check to see how much it is and then we're gonna do a regular axe enchantment because I need to collect a little bit of wood is the issue is I'm running out of wood and uh, you can't quite have that in that tiny. And I have a pickaxe somewhere. There's a pickaxe somewhere around here. I don't know. I mean, a regular axe somewhere around here. Um, oh, crap. I gotta go all the way over there and get my blocks of diamond back. Don't I? Yep. Okay. But uh, I need to get a. Uh, regular axe enchantment and then I need to fix up one of these fortune picks because oh really really oh wow well then I have a lot of fixing up to do around here hey you're dead floating in the water 
every female's worst nightmare is a dead spider floating in the water. Guarantee you. I'll just take these and run the opposite direction. Because I'm not trying to lose any of that stuff. It is not the right time to pick it up. Alright, so we'll go check this enchantment. It shouldn't be at a 31, so I should be able to get one or maybe even two good enchantments out of this batch of levels. Um, all dependent on if it wants to behave or not. Uh, but, you know, it it happens, it happens. Ugh, I'm dying. I'm dying, food. Gotta have some food. Uh, but right after this, we're going to go hit the live stream, and I mean, I've slabbed the crap out of the nether, but I'm probably going to do a little bit more on the live stream, uh, because that's just how I is. I like to slab the nether a little bit too much sometimes. I don't know if I put all that crap. Um, I'm not going to go ham like I did last season, where I just had way too much nether quartz for my own good. One, two, and you just go like this, and... But yeah, I had way too much nether quartz for my own good last season. And uh, I don't think I'm going to go all ham on the nether quartz this season. Uh, just because, yeah, there's no point in it. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, regular pick. So, since let's just not have to walk over there another time. Uh, one, two, three, boom. And maybe a book for a chump enchant, just in case. Okay. Now, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's see which one is better. Five. Five. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I need five levels to do that. Okay, so let's get our axe enchanted. <sighs> um, let's see what the book will get, because I could do another enchantment. Unbreaking is good. Sharpness 3, eh, we'll go for the unbreaking. Efficiency 4. What? That's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad. What else is Silk Touch good for, though? Nothing. Silk Touch on a pickaxe. I mean, well, books. Books are good. Books are always good. Um, let's see if we got anything on here. Or maybe we should just go for another pickaxe. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Actually, I need a shovel. Let's shoot for a shovel in chance. Because um, I don't have a decent shovel at the moment. Um, I think the one I do have is almost near breaking point. Uh, for its last enchant, and uh, we're gonna need to go find a secondary mesa to absorb some, um, uh, what is it called? Oh man, did I really run all the way over there? Man, but uh, not to absorb it, but to just kind of take it down and, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, mind fart. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, but, uh, secondary mesa so we can get some red sand to kind of patch things up. Uh, efficient. <sighs> Lame sauce. So, um, we can actually go ahead and make three more picks and fix all of them if, theoretically, uh, they're at five as well, then we'll to have our all of our stuff back um once again so is that the no all the i need the normal efficiency and then the regular thing five and then the other normal efficiency four i don't need the efficiency four uh efficiency five is actually at three so we should i'm gonna go patch these up do my live stream because the clock is ticking um and uh we will have ooh what's up buddy mm, mm. you stingy bastard give me your damn ender pearls anyway i'm gonna go do my live stream we 
should have some nice looking uh, Mesa spike biome stuff going along right around this crescent right here. So I will catch you guys back right after this live stream and I will show you the awesomeness of a custom biome. Okay, so we're back, and uh, it's been a couple of days since I recorded. Um, I'm, all my tools have ran out. I've just been collecting random stuff because my mic has been off. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just being, it's just been weird. Ah, okay. Feather falling for the wind. But um, I'm just in here collecting some quartz for a little bit. I want to use, I have a small idea what I want to use the quartz for, but... Um, yeah, so I, I and I have, you know, it's been a few days, I haven't been able to record, my mic has just been weird, not working right, um, and I haven't been able to figure out a good design for the Mesa Spike, so that's probably going to have to happen next episode, because I'm out of time to record for this episode, um, just specifically because I haven't been able to record, and I didn't want to use my other... Uh, the mic on the PS4 camera because it sounds like crap and then my house it echoes and all that stuff so I will catch you guys in the next episode and hopefully we can get these Mesa spikes done I just haven't been able to find a nice concrete idea to go with the Mesa spikes so I will catch you guys next episode thank you for showing up for watching the videos thank you for the support thank you for everybody who's gone over to my Twitch channel and everybody who has followed me on Twitter. If you like this episode, make sure to please give it a like. Um, if you really, really enjoyed it, subscribe. But the subscription, uh, it's not necessary. If you just like to, if you just search my episodes and you like the episodes and you want to do it that way, go for it. But uh, I will catch everybody next episode, and hopefully we can get these Mesa spikes done.